and just like that, it's over. I was so mother freaking stressed. <laughs> My voice is gone and it was all worth it. I took that test. It took me 15 minutes to take a CC5 question test because I bust my whole ass studying for this test getting me in this stuff like girl i was crying my eyes out for this i feel like i passed it like i definitely feel like i passed it and if i didn't this is gonna be embarrassing this is not gonna age well if i didn't but i feel like i passed it like i'm so glad it's over and we can we can move on to the next thing i'm saying i'm glad it's over just to study for something else just get into the nursing program which is probably gonna be a little bit more challenging but you know prepare for a trip now that i have my brain space back now that i have reclaimed my time i feel like i can really focus on getting cute because i've had these braids in for almost two months so many issues too many nights i hi um, okay, can I have a, a chicken sandwich? Nice, thank you. You too. I'm gonna have a great day. I just passed my fucking class. <laughs> okay, let me get on, child. I keep crying off so much. This a nigga had these kids, kids and I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm ready to get my lashes done. And in normal fashion, I'm like a little bit late. And sis already told me she's not comfortable with me vlogging in there. And that's totally fine. So I won't be vlogging in there. I'll just show y'all what it looked like when I get back in the car. So give me like two seconds and we're going to do a little jump cut. And just like that. I feel like a bad bitch. It's super cute. Just wait till I put it on with a bust down. A bust down. Anyways, yeah. We gotta go because next is the nail appointment. So let's get going. Boy, boy, boy. Young girl, no one that back calling me splurge. Drop me jump right on the curve. Yeah. Bitch, my like a. I think next time I'm gonna do an overlay. Oh yeah, you did say something about that. Yeah, did you see how they look now? They long. Oh yeah. yeah some of them so broke I off. Cut. I ain't gonna cut them. I'm gonna I'm mad some of these broke off, but they still look good. They'll come out. Yeah. Um, cause start getting your nails soaked off and stop pulling them off. I sure do. I, I'm just be like, mm, I just. Mm -hmm. I pull them off. Get them soaked off. Oh, you do soak off? I mean, I will. I don't like to, but I will. <laughs> Because you're trying to, you know, grow your nails yeah. out, so I will. Keep me a stick if they purge. Y'all got no money, they working my nerve. I'm about to pull us a serve. Fucking this bitch like a perv. Smack on the back of a perv. Ice, the bird. Shit, you know, are you little turd? Y'all saw my nails, they so cute. Oh, it's chilly outside. My nails are so freaking cute, y'all. I love them. I love them down. They're so pretty. I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like maybe because I was stressing myself because it was like ever since I took that test, I went to sleep. And since today, I didn't feel like achy. Like my lower back and like neck and like the back of my head just feel achy. And I noticed from my body being so tense and stressed. So I'm just like, girl. But we gotta go home. I'm gonna try to start taking out my hair today. So we'll see how that go. Um, so we can be on the road and ready for tomorrow. But honey, that's the whole process of doing my hair and it's already eight o'clock, so. Drink that mother, drink that mother, we'll be covering it.
Yeah, I'm covered in I was dug in it. I was just loving it. That's for the puffin' it. That's for the other bitch. That ain't for your dog. That's for them other niggas. That ain't for your child. That's for the other bitch. I'm going crazy about it. I'm going crazy. It ain't crazy. That's how we living it. Y'all feeling lovely. I'm just lovely. Think I'm my problem, just break out the bottle and fuck on the modern, yeah. Out of my this now the carnival, this is a royal old carnival. Good morning. <laughs> Ciao. So it's like 7 o'clock in the morning. I really wanted to wake up at 5, but that's just so unrealistic. Like, uh, Thursday, the last time we talked, I was going to come home and start taking out my hair so that I could finish Friday and we can leave Friday night or now, basically, right? And when I got home Thursday, it's like my body was like, sit the fuck down, basically. And I just literally shut down. It was like my whole body hurt. Like I had like almost chills. Like I literally, like my body ached and I had never felt like that before, but I wasn't sick. I didn't have a fever. Like nobody else was sick. Nobody else caught anything. And I was like, wow, like this is due to stress you know what like i gotta focus better on not only my mental health but in general like my health and well-being like i can't do that to myself especially not over no damn finals i feel like the course of my pregnancy my hair has gotten really long but i'm so scared to like detangle it and everything because i know like okay i know i had postpartum shedding while I had these braids and I know because my hair around my edges like got thin like I don't know if you could see what I have I have pretty thick edges like all of this was filled in it's growing back now but you can see how it's like short and it's just now starting to grow back yeah like girl my edges was not hitting on nothing so I'm nervous this was just one braid y'all I'm scared what if I have no hair on it's still nice and long but when I first took my braids out my hair was so fucking thick y'all like it was super dense and my baby is about to be four months so i know that three to four month mark is when it really like you know what i'm saying that's when your hair really start to show that postpartum hair loss and your hormones go through an another kind of like phase or whatever so i was trying to prepare myself for it but the way my edges was all broke off like mm. i just remember when i was a little kid and um after my grandparents had adopted me, I remember, um, you know, still reaching out to my mom. And um, she would never really come through. But as at a certain age, you don't really understand the full gravity of disappointment. It just is like whatever. And I remember I had reached a certain age and it was my birthday and I called her to let her know, like, hey, uh, I think I was like 14 or 15. I called her to know, hey, I'm 14 or I'm 15. You know, I just wanted you, I want to see you, whatever. And we hadn't talked for, I know, that whole year and the year before. Um, And so I remember getting on the phone with her and she was like, oh my gosh like I haven't heard your voice and you sound so mature and blah 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 and I'm coming to see you tomorrow like um just be ready around whatever time and I was I remember being so excited um and so the next day the time she told me I got ready I put clothes on and I waited and waited and waited and waited and it had reached like an hour past and I called her phone back she didn't answer the phone and it wasn't the first time she had done that, but my grandparents were not optimistic that she was coming now that I look back. They kept telling me, you know, don't get your hopes up. Don't get so excited. You know, just relax because that wasn't the first time she had done it. 
and um, she never showed up. She never showed up. She actually didn't really even give me an explanation as to why she didn't come. She just didn't come. And I remember, like, my hair fell out from stress. From, yeah, from, from stress. I remember my hair literally fell out. I had, like, I used to get relaxers. And the back of my hair, like it was like a the, that nape of your neck section, that back part, broke off. And it wasn't because of a relax the relaxer. It was literally like my hair just started deteriorating. I, I'm like, I feel my emotions. I guess you could say like I'm an empath, but I definitely feel my emotions. And I know that I'm one of the people that, like, I try not to get too upset about stuff because... I know people don't really feel stuff like me. Like, I I feel that shit, like, physically. If I'm sad physically, I'm like, I can feel, like, that heartbreak. You know what I mean? It's not just a mental thing. So, stuff, I have to, like, really stop stressing about stuff. Yeah. Ooh, why you want to go there? I guess I got to go there. So please don't judge me And I won't judge you Cause it could get ugly Before it gets beautiful Please don't judge me And I won't judge you And if you love me Then let it be beautiful Let it be beautiful Let it be beautiful Let it be beautiful Let it be beautiful, let it be beautiful. Let it be beautiful 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 After I took my braids out, I'm not gonna lie A lot of my a lot of my hair around my edges came out and you know I know that I was like mentally preparing for it but actually seeing it and being used to having like a thick hairline and like a nice little bit of swoopage like I just feel like a part of who I am just disintegrated with the braids it's in the bag with the braids so all I can do is just hope they grow back and um, try not to stress my edges too much with this but girl, why would my group hug me? I've worn this wig before. Um, if you go back and watch my my uh, baby shower vlogs, that's when I last really like installed installed this. So let me hot comb it back at the root. So when I cut this part off, and trust me, I'm gonna peel this part back. But once this glue dries here on these ear tabs and fully, you know, whatever, then um, I'm gonna cut it and apply the wig. And then we got a pack. And um, then we can go. This is my first time, like, this is our first time, like, traveling with the baby and, like, packing her bag and stuff. And I will say, it's much different now because before I just had to think about just me and, like, my stuff. But she has, like, stuff that's like temperature sensitive like we have to carry breast milk we have to carry um you know she we do liquid formula just to supplement breast milk if my supply is ever low so we are bringing that which needs to stay refrigerated and you know shouldn't be left out for too long so we have to put that in the car she has all kind of gadgets she got her damn stroller that attached to her car seat that's going to be in the car with her she got um girl her bassinet she sleep in she got her tub she has her little seat she sit in like she has a lot of stuff <laughs> to for like everyday use that we use every day and it's like if we don't have it it's not gonna be a good trip so 
yeah and then her clothes my clothes her diapers wipes stuff to keep her clean her soap my soap christian stuff like girl Ooh, honey Back up on my bullshit, back up on the scene Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me I'm fucking with you, don't know how to love me Done dealing with you, so I'm back It seemed like I get so much and don't get nothing back I really thought it was love, but you're so fucking whack Always be caught up in love, but I am done with that I can't get caught up in love, so now I'm, yeah Flexing on my exes and my model ex Pretty little skinny little bitty body model ex Some of y'all ain't never had no real bitch in his shows I keep it 100 from my head down to my toes Back up on my bullshit, back up on the moon <sighs> Um, I was gonna pack with y'all But I swear my packing was really just me running around Like a chicken with their head cut off because the way like it took all day to get to be able to just get in the car and drive and go like yeah i don't know what i thought but traveling with a kid is very different like our whole back seat trunk everything but at least my hair turned out good <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we got a nice little little ride for the next couple of hours it's like 7 45 almost 8 o'clock so we got a cute little ride but i'll show y'all um the place when we get there because it's nice So we made it to the hotel and since the last time we've been here they didn't change stuff they actually give you a wristband to get in like you need a wristband and um it's pretty cool like i can't wait to see the room because we stand in the newly renovated part portion of the hotel so ah, yeah hey papa we on the eighth floor on the eighth floor mm -hmm. Did you saw a bottom floor? Uh, okay uh -huh. I remember hitting them all with the whole team. Now I nigga paint us a call cause I'm all in. I was waking up getting racks in the morning. I was broke, now I'm rich, these niggas salty. All this designer on my body got me drip drip. Hey, straight up out the objects, I'm a big trip. If I got up on a lean, I'm a sip sip. I run the racks up with my queen like London and Nip. But I got rich on all these niggas. We made it. <laughs> we made it and um. I'm really excited, but we gotta unpack stuff, get to bed, set up the bassinet, get the baby ready for bed and everything. But that was pretty much it, y'all. We got a long trip ahead, and for the most part, I guess I'm prepared. The only thing I didn't do was my toenails, so yeah. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next one. These bitches know me now, cause I got them big racks Cause I'm getting money now, I know you heard